Well, hello friends. It is time for our December thrift haul. Um, Olivia and I went thrifting today. We had a really good day. We went to our, three of the stores that we normally go to. Plus, we went to a new um, vendor mall, they're called, um, that we've never been to before. Um, my niece Lydia told us about it. And um, I'll talk more about that when I get to that portion of the haul. But anyway, we started off at Salvation Army and Olivia picked up a couple of things there and then I picked up a couple of things. So let me show you first what Olivia picked up. She picked up this beautiful frame with a floral print in it. And she paid $4.99 for it. I'm not sure you know how great of a deal that is, but this is a nice heavy metal frame. I'm sure that the frame itself was well cost more than that. Um, there's no markings or tags or anything on the back to say where it originally came from, but she really liked it, so she paid $4.99 for it. And then the other thing she picked up was a book, of course. She picked up this book. Um, all hardback books were $2.99. And so she paid $2.99 for it. This is actually Gone with the Wind, which she, um, honestly, we watched the movie and she hated it. <laughs> um, so she's probably not planning to read this book. She just thought it was a pretty book. Um, and so, yeah, so she paid um, $2.99 for this hardback book of Gone with the Wind. So that is everything that Olivia picked up. Now, when I first got there, they have like a little display case right as you first come in. And the first thing I saw was these adorable little chipmunks. They are so stinking cute. I'm definitely going to be cutting the hang hangers off of them because these are supposed to be ornaments and I'm just gonna use them in my decor. They were $1.99 a piece but they are just so adorable. They're made out of that natural fiber, and I've never seen little chipmunks like this before, and I have a lot of these little critters, and I've never seen these before. So I grabbed those right away, and then as we were going down one of the aisles, there was a couple of carts there, shopping carts there, and with boxes of stuff in them, and a lady was like going through them, and there was another lady standing there who was an employee, and I saw some stuff in there, I'm like, ooh, I'd like to look at that, and I'm like, I, so I asked, I'm like, has this stuff just not been put out on the shelves yet? And they're like, no, not yet, but go ahead, you can go look through the box. So, <clears throat> come to find out, these two little um, chipmunks were actually in that box, and she had taken them up and put them out for display right away. But also inside that box was a ton of other little woodland creatures. Like someone had decorated their tree for Christmas with wood, woodland creatures. And then this year they decided to do a different theme. I don't know, but there was a ton in there. Um, I restrained myself because honestly, I really don't have a whole lot more space for very many more of those little critters. But I could not pass out up getting a couple of owls I picked up this owl. They had it for $4.99. It originally came from Pier 1 Imports and it was regularly um, $10. So I got it for half price. And again, I will take the hanger off of it. And I'm gonna put this up on top of my um, clock with the rest of my owls. Cause this is a nice size one, probably <clears throat> seven, eight, seven inches tall probably but I just thought he was so cute, this little owl. And then I got another owl. Now this one I'll probably hang on my woodland tree um, because it won't really look very good on top of my clock. Um, it kind of, The smaller owls just kind of blend in on the clock. So I will probably put him on my woodland tree down here. And I paid $1.99 for him. I don't know if you can see that, but he was $1.99. I just think he's really cute. I didn't have any owls like them. 
And then also on that front display, um, as you first came in the store, I saw this cute little Santa. And you know how I really like to collect Santas? And this is actually a candle snuffer. I like to collect Santas that are different and unique. And of course, I have never seen a candle snuffer Santa before. And it looks like it's actually been used. Now, I won't use it for that. I'm just gonna set it on a shelf and use it in my Christmas decor. I will go ahead and place him today. Uh, and I paid $2.99 for him. And then there was two more things I picked up and I decided to go ahead and get these. They're dirty, I'm gonna have to clean them up because I absolutely love Winnie the Pooh. And they didn't have Winnie the Pooh, but they had Kanga sitting on a present. And as you see, I paid $2.99 for him. And these are from, let's see, <clears throat> made in Thailand, so they're a little bit older. It's just from Pooh and Friends. And it's very, very dirty. I don't know if you can tell that, but it's filthy. So I'll get that cleaned up and I'll just set it on one of my shelves. And then of course, they, I had to pick this up too. It was the only two characters that were there, um, the owl, and it was also $2.99, and they're made out of porcelain. And this one has another tag. These probably came, I'm assuming, maybe from the Disney store? I don't know. Because it says Disney based on the Winnie the Pooh works on this little tag. But anyway, I'll clean these guys up and find a cute little spot for them in my decor. All right, that's everything I picked up from Salvation Army. So then after Salvation Over Army, we went over to Twice Treasured 2, and I picked up a couple of things there. So let me show you what I picked up from Twice Treasured 2. So I only picked up three items from Twice Treasured 2, and Olivia didn't pick up anything. Uh, the first thing I picked up, actually Olivia saw it, and we discussed it, and we decided to go ahead and get it. For the dogs, it's one of these kibble drop dog toy puzzles. Um, obviously, it's not vintage or anything or old, um, but she, Olivia looked it over and it looks like it works. It was normally $5.99. It was 25% off, so I got it for $4.49. And I can't decide if I'm going to keep it and wrap it for them for Christmas. Um, I might because Christmas is less than a week away. So... I don't know, but with the bad weather, um, it's hard to have um, Percy out in the yard much because he gets cold. So we've been trying to keep him busy with different things in the house, and he really loves these sniffing toys. So pick that up for him. Then I picked up this for me, and it definitely is old. It is a meat tenderizer, an old kitchen meat tenderizer. And I only paid $5 for it. And um, I will put it in my decor after I take all my Christmas stuff down. I'll find some place to put this in my regular Chris, er, um, decor somewhere in my house. Not sure where. Probably not down here in the vintage room. Um, but, but somewhere. I just thought it was really, really neat. I love wooden pieces. So got that. And then the last thing I picked up from Twice Treasured 2 was another little wooden Santa. It's not old. It didn't come from anywhere special. Um, <clears throat> but I just thought it was very cute and very unique. And it's made out of wood. And I only paid a dollar for it. So I'll put him with the rest of my little Santa displays upstairs. So then after Twice Treasured 2, we went over to the new uh, vendor mall that we heard about. It was in the same basic vicinity. Uh, I try to plan my trips so that I'm not like backtracking, <laughs> like plan it to kind of make a big circle and then come back home. But anyway, this place was called Emily and Ivy and it was a vendor mall. And when we first went in, it was like sensory overload. This place was packed with stuff. 
it was almost like I almost didn't have a very good time in there because there was just too much to look at and I was like my brain couldn't couldn't bring it you know take all this in and comp comprehend it so and plus I knew we, we didn't have a, a ton of time so um, I didn't realize this place was as big as it was because we kind of went through the main part and then there was like this doorway and Olivia's like, oh, there's another whole half. So it was that building plus another half. And it was just packed with stuff, packed with stuff. I told Olivia, I said, the next time we go thrift shopping, we're either gonna have to take a special trip and just go to um, Emily and Ivy and that you make like two have two thrift trips next month or we're just going to have to go to Emily and Ivy and not go to the other thrift stores that we normally go to because it was so huge we spent an hour in there and that was by kind of kind of rushing a little bit um we could have easily spent two 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 to three hours in that store because there was just so much to look at now because it's a vendor mall there's different booths and it would depend on what vendor at, is what price range things were some things were outrageously expensive I, I was like whoa like they had a ton of those vintage um light up blow molds like christmas blow molds like santas and snowmans and stuff and there was a snowman it was pretty tall probably five foot tall and it was a snowman but it was broken it had a big hole in the face and a big crack they wanted $125 for it. $125 for a broken blow mold. Uh, did I, I call them snow molds? Blow molds. You know what I'm talking about. Those old vintage things that you put in your yard and light up. $125. And every vendor booth that had blow molds in it, the prices were just ridiculous. Um, so, so you had to just like really had to look at things because... Some things were super expensive. Other things were a really great deal. And I found quite a few items that were really, really good deals. So let me show you what I picked up from Emily and Ivy. Now, the bad thing is I paid with cash. And if, when you pay with cash, they don't give you a receipt. Some of the things are still marked with the price I paid for them. Other things, they took the tag off. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to remember how much things were in this store, but I'll do my best. So I picked this up. It's an old Peanuts character, it's Lucy, and it was only a dollar. Now it's made out of plastic, and it had this little weird thing on the bottom. So I asked Olivia, I said, do you have a clue what this might be? And then she looked on the back and it's from an Avon, it's an old bubble bath. It was the topper off of an old bubble bath bottle. And so it's probably not super old, there's no date or anything on it, but I love Peanuts characters. She's a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna clean her up and I'm gonna set her up on my shelf upstairs with my other Peanuts um, things, my Christmas display that I have upstairs. So I'm gonna clean her up and put her up there. And then Olivia picked this up. She thought it was a real book and a real old book because look at how the edges are like look damaged and then she's like oh man i hate it when they do that because it's not it's just a de decor item it's it's made out of resin or something i only paid a dollar for it so um i just thought it was really great i love to use old books in decor and um so it didn't bother me at all that this was fake <laughs> it looks very real but uh, so I'll just put this somewhere in my decor, probably use it like as a riser or something like that. So I only paid a dollar for that. So if you guys remember my last thrift haul, I picked up this Santa at Twice Treasured 2, and I can't remember, I paid like a dollar or two for it. And I had said I didn't really know anything about these. Um, it just has limited edition, made in Korea, 1983 on the bottom on the tag. Well, one of you told me that these were collectibles and there was a whole big set of them and that um, you could buy them and collect them. 
So I thought, well, that was really cool. So anyway, when I was at um, Emily and Ivy, I saw a whole bunch of these Santas. And I couldn't remember if they were if it was exactly the same as the other kind of Santa. I couldn't remember if it had the name of the country. I knew it had the date. So they wanted $2 for, this, for these Santas. Some of the Santas, they only had a dollar on. They had a whole bunch of them, like six or eight of them. And originally I picked them all up and put them in my basket. But then I got to thinking, I couldn't remember for sure if these were the same collectible Santas as these. And, un and thankfully I didn't buy them all because they're not the same. As you can see, this one that was super collectible only has the year on it. And this one has the year and the country. So I just decided to choose one of them that looked the most, that I liked the most, the like the looks of it the most. So I picked up this one, 1887 Hungary. And the other clue that I had on these was on some of the other ones, they had stickers on the bottom that said made in China. And so I thought, oh, I just don't think they're the same. So I'm glad I, I, I like it, I'm glad I, I got it, but I'm glad I didn't buy the entire set because they're not exactly the same. So I'm gonna have to like take a picture of this and keep it in my phone so that I can refer back to it because I would really like to collect these dated Santas anytime I find them. But anyway, I got this one and I like him and he's gonna get, I, I need to clean him up, he's dirty, but I'll clean him up and get him put in my display with the rest of my Santas. So now we're getting into the stuff where I'm not gonna be able to remember how much I paid. Um, I didn't pay a lot for any of this stuff, let's just say that. Um, I think this next item, I maybe paid $2 for it. Um, it was obviously a, a, a souvenir piece. I'm not super thrilled about the little container that it came, came in, um, it says, Hinton, West Virginia on it. What I really liked were these um, vintage salt and pepper shakers. And they have the Jap Japan sticker on the bottom, so you know they're, they've got some age to them. And I just kind of liked how unique and kind of quirky they look. I just think they're super cute. They're almost like kissing, I don't know. Um, but they're salt and pepper shakers. So I don't know how I'm gonna display them, whether I'm gonna display them in the little <clears throat> wooden thing or how I'm gonna display them. But I just thought for a couple bucks, those were super cute and you know how much I love my chicken stuff. This is a metal tray that is definitely old. If you can see the crusty, rusty stuff on there, I have no idea what this would have been used for, how old it is. I know nothing about it. I just thought it was really cute and I like small things. And it was like, I don't remember, $5 maybe? I don't remember how much it was. Um, I don't think it was even $5. So anyway, thought that was super cute. Now the last item I have to share from you, that I got from Emily and Ivy is a set. And it's been something I have been looking for for a really long time. Now it was really strange because I wanted a set of four. And I saw, I was in one vendor booth and I saw a set of two and I'm like, oh, and I snatched them up and they were $4 for the set of two. And I'm like, well, I really wish I would have had had four, but I'll get these two and then I'll just keep my eye out until I get at least two more. And so, like I said, this place was humongous. And so we get over clear to the other end of the store, other side of the store. And I don't know if it was the same vendor. It looked kind of like the same handwriting on the tag, but I found two more exactly like it over there on the clear on the other side of the building. Now, that set of two, they had a $6 tag on it. So I got all four for $10, and I think it was a really good deal. 
Um, they're very dirty. Everything in this place was kind of dirty. That was the other thing that was a little bit, um, I don't know, sensory overload a little bit. But I don't know if you guys know what these are. But these are bone dishes. And what you would do is you would set this at the top of your plate at your place setting, if you're having meat like pork chops or chicken or something, a meat that has a bone, mainly like chicken, I would think, or poultry, turkey or something like that, or ribs, if you're having barbecued ribs or something. And after you eat the meat off the bone, you put the bone on this dish so that it's not on your plate with the rest of your food and you're not having to put the bone on your table or like, I don't know how many times we're eating chicken and I'm like, what am I gonna do with these bones? And I'm like, I have been wanting bone dishes for so long. Ever since I found out that there was such a thing as bone dishes, I have been wanting them. So I found a set of four. Like I said, it was a weird situation, but they match. Like this is the one set, <clears throat> if you can see the floral design on them. Now there's a little bit of crazing, but I don't care about that. I am still going to use them. I just won't have them put through the dishwasher. And then this is the other set of two. They look exactly the same. So, and like I said, the handwriting on the tags looked the same. So this particular vendor either had two separate booths or someone picked up a set of two, decided they didn't want them, and then they just set them down in someone else's booth. I don't know. But I'm so thankful that I have these. Um, now on the back of these, and there's no chips or anything on them. There's just that the crazing but no chips or cracks. Um, on the back, there's a stamp that says, Hanley, something that I can't hardly read, England, semi-porcelain. So they're semi-porcelain, they're made in England, and they're bone dishes. Not sure what I'm gonna do with them, where I'm gonna put them when I'm not using them, but I am so thankful. <laughs> I am so thankful that I found what I was looking for. That's part of the fun of thrifting, is you have in mind things that you're wanting to find, and sometimes it takes you a really long time to find it, and then when you do, you've got this sense of like, accomplishment that you finally found what you've been looking for forever and I'm gonna keep my eye out because it'd be nice to have more than just four because sometimes you might have company over and so you'll need like I'd like to have six or eight um, of these and I don't care if they don't match like the patterns don't match uh, it's just gonna be nice to have them and I know they're old because I really don't think people use them much anymore in this day and age but um, cause like I said, I hadn't, I only heard about them and knew what they were from watching YouTube, watching some other YouTuber who does a lot of vintage shopping had so shown one in a shopping hall one time. And I don't even remember who it was I was listening to. It might've been Nicole Northgarden. Um, and she told, said in her video what they were. And I was like, oh, that is a really cool idea. And ever since then, which has probably been at least two years ago, I have been looking, every time we go thrift shopping, I keep my eye out for them. So, very pleased to find those. And now I know that um, at Emily and Ivy, they have so much stuff in that store that if you're looking for something that is kind of obscure or kind of hard to find, might be able to, I might be able to find it there. So, that was fun. Also at Emily and Ivy, the last thing I purchased from them was a Christmas CD. And I'm just gonna have to insert a picture here because I left it out in the car. But I've had the same two Christmas CDs in my car ever since I started listening to Christmas music. And every time I'm in the car, I think, oh, I need to get some of my other CDs out of the, out of the house and put them in the car. And I 
always forget until I'm pulling out of the driveway and I'm like, oh, I should have got some Christmas CDs. So anyway, I saw a Christmas CD at um, Emily and Ivy. It was only a dollar and so I picked it up and it's still out in the car, but here's a picture of it, just so you know. Um, so far, the jury's out on it, whether I really like it or not. Some of the songs I do, some of the songs I don't. But anyway, now, this last store we went to was my beloved Twice Treasured. I had to kind of go through there very quickly because it took us so much longer than I expected at Emily and Ivy. Ivy. So it was kind of a really quick trip, but it, I did find some really cute things. And Olivia also found something. She got this bear. Um, it's handmade. And she said it's kind of derpy looking, but she liked it. And I think it was $5, I can't remember. But yeah, it was kind of, it's kind of an endearing, funny looking stuffed animal with really long legs, buttons on its knees. <laughs> and she collects teddy bears, so she liked him. And that's the only thing that Olivia got at Twice Treasured. As you know, I look for unique Santas, and so I found a really unique Santa. Um, it was a wooden carved Santa head ornament, and I will put this on my tree, and it even comes with a hook. But it's very different and unique, and I really liked it, and it was $3, which is a little bit high for a used you know, buying second hand, but it was hand carved. So that, you know, in my mind, someone spent time to make this. It wasn't mass produced. So you kind of have to give the artisan acknowledgement or credit for all their hard work and pay a little bit more for it. So then at Twice Treasure 2, I also found this Christmas CD which I meant to leave out in the car and I didn't. So I'm gonna go put this, I'm gonna put this in my purse so the next time I go somewhere, it, I can take it out to the car. But it's Christmas piano, it's got two CDs in it and it was $2. So then this is the next item I picked up from Twice Treasured. I didn't know what it was at first, it almost kind of looks like a top, but I knew it was quite vintage. And so when I looked at the tag, I'm like, oh yeah, that makes sense. It's a sock darner. You'd stick this inside the sock and pull it, you know, pull it across this rounded uh, section, and then you could stick, fix your sock. And it was regularly five dollars, but everything in that booth was thirty percent off, so I got it for three dollars and fifty cents. And again, I will put this somewhere in my decor after Christmas. So when we were standing at the checkout, waiting for her to check stuff out, they had a little display there that had thimbles on it. I don't collect thimbles, but I know thimbles are quite collectible. And this was a whole set of, someone must have collected them and were selling their thimbles. And they were selling them for a dollar a piece. And um, Olivia found this one. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to make it out. It might be kind of hard to get it to focus. I don't know if you can see that, if it's gonna focus. But it's it says Indiana and it's got a cardinal because Indian, cardinal is the Indiana state bird. I don't know, that's about as good as it's gonna focus, I think. But anyway, I'm going to put this on my printer's tray and I'll either put it under I for Indiana or T for thimble. And it was only a dollar, I forgot to say. Okay, the next item I picked up were some salt and pepper shakers and I think I am gonna actually use these in um, right now. I'm gonna put them in, upstairs on my table. Um, they are from Falls Craft, which is a really good brand, and I just loved the um, picture on it, the Santa and the reindeer. So cute, and then on this side, there's a dog and a little girl with her sled, or a child, I don't know if it's a girl or a boy, but a child, two children and a sled, and a dog, and I just thought they were so adorable, and they're Falls Craft, you can see the mark on the bottom 
and I paid $8 for them. I don't know if that was a good deal or not, but I love them and they are def definitely useful. I don't think they've ever been used. So I'm just gonna fill them with salt and pepper and we're gonna use them for the rest of the Christmas season and probably into the new year as well. All right, so the very last thing I picked up from our thrifting trip today was this um, figurine. I saw this there the last time I went and I didn't get it, but the more I looked at it, if you like really look close at the detailing of it, the little children's faces, so cute, the kitty cat, the little girls holding a doll, it is so cute. And it's called Waiting for Christmas. It's from 1983, Joan Walsh. These dogs are down here if you hear a bunch of ruckus. Joan Walsh, England. Uh, Ebling and Roos, I don't know. If you can read all of that. <laughs> That's what it is, it's in perfect condition. Not any chips or anything. And I just loved it. I loved the very shiny finish on it. It's just so cute, so much detail. Just absolutely adorable. And I paid $7.50 for it. Let me take the camera down and let me show you these dogs. Percy is getting humongous. <laughs> Percy, Percy. Oh boy. I wanted you to see it in comparison to Oliver, how big he's gotten. Oliver, leave it. He's found presents. Oliver, no. Come on. Ollie. Come here, Ollie. Here. Come here and stand next to your brother. Sit. Oh, sit. Wow. No, he's, no, he's got presents over there wrapped up. That's why. Usually They're very, very, very busy. But as you can see, Percy is almost as tall. Hey! <laughs> oh no! no! He's almost as tall as Oliver. Oh my goodness, I think we need to get the circus back upstairs. Come here! <laughs> oh my goodness. Percy, you can't eat that. Hey! <laughs> Percy, no. No. Oh boy. Go drop it. Oh my goodness. See what we deal with on a daily basis. <laughs> These dogs. And Oliver, he knows. I've got I was doing some gift wrapping the other day and I wrapped some dog presents and they're underneath that table. You're gonna have to take these guys back upstairs. This is not for you. All right, friends, that is it for this haul. I am not going to be able to include footage of these things in place in this video because I need to get this edited and ready to go up for you tomorrow because uh, this is Tuesday and you will be seeing this pretty much right in time um, as things happen. Uh, you'll be seeing this tomorrow. So if you watch for the Friday video, I'm going to to a vlog and I will show you where I place these things and get these things. I'll get these things cleaned up and in place. So that will be part of my vlog on Friday. Thanks so much for watching friends. Let me know in the comment section below, which was your favorite item that we picked up in our thrifting um, extravaganza shopping day today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and we will talk to you all later. Bye-bye friends.